Welcome back, YouTubes. Let's get to it. Man, you look fit to be tied. And I should know. I tie people up all the time. Oh, that's not a door. That's a wall. Do it. Don't think, said the voice in my head. Stick it. Huh. Guess I'm going over there. I've already read that one. Sure, what I'm looking for here. Oh, what's this? Oh, what the hell? You're fucking kidding me. What? The press clippings were all referring to the Black Lake Wolf. Some serial killer going after women in the area. Need a light bulb. Oh, hi. Hi. Just leaving you right there. Just leaving you right there. February 20th, 1932. As I came home from the smoke and mirrors, her voice kept clinging to my soul. That girl is fantastic. She introduced herself under the name Selena. She has just arrived in town, it seems. Her voice holds a melancholy that sounds very familiar. She's like a moonbeam skimming you know, skimming you like a cold wind from the north. In a few minutes, even the most intoxicated of the drunkards were sitting in front of the stage, some on their knees. They were crying. You can see she is young, but her voice isn't. It has the wisdom of many lives. She has rekindled a flame that faded a long time ago. My soul was cleansed by her song, as if, as if the alchemist threw distilled water on the ashes of my unfinished work. It reminded me of an old friend, very close yet very far, except she never goes down to earth. Who wouldn't? And a second. Matches first. Matches first, then... There we go. Alright. Can't believe I can't light that candle. It's right there. Whoa! It's got a big old lipstick stain on it. From Selena to William. We spend the summer of 1935 partying. Jim is constantly introducing us to new people. It is his job as a producer, he says. He pays for everything. 
He always makes me drink too much, arguing that that Scandinavian girl can drink. Well, I can't. But I love alcohol. I enjoy whiskey, and I often end up drunk. We play one concert after another, all along the coast. At the end of the show, people come to see me, offer me flowers. They tell me they wouldn't miss any of my performances for any reason. It's hard to believe, but I feel I am changing already. My eyes are getting used to the spotlight. I feel more comfortable on stage, and I learn how to seduce the audience, how to seduce men as well. They like me. They think I'm beautiful, and I take advantage of it. We rehearse at the Gats. He is our drummer. Oh, we rehearse at Gats. He is our drummer. As he has a spare room, I end up living there for good. My parents try to stop me, but I am growing up, and there is nothing they can do. I believe they figured how all this would... I believe they figured how all this would end. Hmm. Oh, good. I can light the candle. Door there, but I'm not done with this room yet. Photography is a rough thing. What do we got here? A uh, record. Some people. William's first record. Actually, this is starting to make more sense now. Sure, let's throw a serial killer in the mix. That'll be great for a laugh. Oh my goodness. Do you see what's on the wall here? No, I don't think some kid would do this. Oh. Pictures of bodies mutilated and massacred. Sure, why not? Feels like there's something that should go here. There's a door over there, but there's a ghost too. I think I need a light. Meantime, let's see what else I can do around here. Almost enough to keep curious eyes away. Here they are, a pair of curious eyes. Sketches of naked bodies. Okay, I think it's time to check out that other door. Wait, one last thing. Did I already check this? I guess I did. See what's through here before it all goes wrong. Oh, ha ha, you can't do anything because I'm right here. Vesper. Wed for the worst, not for the best. Ah, let's get in there. Oh, hell, I know where I am. What 
is that noise? Is that you dying or something? What the hell? Are you rotting? What's going on over there? The Wolf of Black Lake. It's time we learned about this, I guess. August 10th, 1935. After a period of relative calm, the residents of Boston suburbs are still living in the fear of what they now call the Wolf of Black Lake, as reference to the poor district where a number of prostitutes have once again disappeared in the past two weeks. As the police are no longer com commenting on the case, they are now accusing, uh, I'm sorry, accused of playing the game of the abductor. As the number of missing women is rising, 21 at the latest count. The, abduction, the abductions happen at night, and the culprit seems... Ugh. Ah, I need a drink. Oh. Oh, sour burp. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. All right. The abductions happen at night, and the culprit seems to only target dark-haired women, pushing the most cautious residents to dye their hair. No corpse was found yet, nor any demands made public. It's always the poor who take the rap, as if it wasn't hard enough already, a mother confesses. Nobody gives a damn, even journalists don't come here anymore. Oh, hi. Uh, can I turn this on? Hmm. I'm alright. Uh, William's Diary, March 2nd, 1932. I don't hunt anymore. I go to the smoke every night. I go to the smoke every night just because of her, Selena. She came all the way from Norway to settle, the ca settle in California with her parents. She was singing there as her career took off. She had a relationship with a prominent producer under a strong media coverage. And as she ended up in Black Lake... The owner didn't know more. For everyone here, what matters is her voice. And I don't recognize myself anymore. My piano training sessions always ended up as fantasized rehearsal alongside her. When I look at the Luna, bleh, when I look at Luna, I see Selena's hair shine under the light of the smoke spotlights. I know nothing of her, yet she became everything to me. Her sadness is mine. Her loneliness is mine. Her jazz is mine. But how could I tell her these things that I take for granted? I realize how little I know about women. Yeah, I'm not gonna go near that thing. There's a lot of crazy going on here. Oop. I never told you how much I love you. Thank you for everything. Have I been missing these? To the mother of men, you allow me to be a man. <clears throat> William's first record. My only family. A father's after death. <laughs> blank, blank. William, six. Uh, Vesper's legacy. A great day for both our families. Well, except for the fact that her hair is, or her face is, you know, pushed down. Huh. I would love to know what the fuck is going on there. No, it's not a coincidence. Can I not move it? Come on, put your back into it. Well, well, well. Uh oh. Okay, that had the opposite effect. Thought I was just at the smoke and mirror. Hmm.
isn't this clever? Ah, hell. Give me an in. we all ask ourselves. Hey, you know, and now that I'm thinking about it, who am I exactly? Uh, light, come back. There we go. I need you to figure out where the hell I am. I'm gonna see if I can turn this light on. Big old fat no. Bloody scissors lying on the desk. Awesome. Give me an L. There's me over there, too. I think I know what's going on here. I think it's Selena. 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 Oh my god, you're right. I'm an idiot. Sometimes I'm so fucking stupid. Thank you to the lad. I would not have just got the end. Well, yeah, 
I kind of figured that out. Like the first time you said it. For an instant, I thought I was lying in a bar. That Selena was just a dream born from a whiskey bottle. But no whiskey would send you this kind of angel. She was watching over me. save okay this is my last save so here's what i'm gonna do because it is time to start getting ready for the other thing the uh, last drawing until someone's midnight i'm going to go ahead and cut this here which is what i've kind of planned With that said wish you at YouTube a good night and we will continue this in a more draw-y fashion. <sniffs> no skeletons! Aye.